A proposed change to how the state funds mental health and addiction crisis units have some local agencies worried. Right now, agencies get funds based on capacity, but the Senate bill would reduce the lump sum and require agencies to file detailed patient treatment claims to get additional money. Supporters saying the bill would hold organizations more accountable. Officials at Coastal Behavioral Healthcare and Manatee Glen say it would reduce services. At the uh, senators that have heard from us in the last two weeks realized that the bill, as it's currently written, would have um, an undue negative aspect on the public safety net system. So we don't think that they're ultimately going to allow it. And the bill is still making its way through committee. Senator Nancy Dieter of Venice says she's against the measure as it stands. About a dozen people at Christ United Methodist Church in Venice have pulled their time and resources together to offer local homeless something most of us take for granted, hot showers. This trailer is a portable shower house with two unisex showers, hot water and mirrors. The church is also providing shampoo, soap, disposable razors and new socks and undergarments. The volunteers estimate the trailer will be completed and ready for use within the next month. We promise people that it'll be cleaned in between because we need to do that. And we're just looking forward to, to serving and helping. We estimate that we can, within a two hour period, we could service about 16 people with showers, which makes a dent in the need. And when the trailer is completed, it will be moved to the Center of Hope in Venice, where they will happily take donations of single-use toiletries to continue and keep the shower trailer in business.